chịu đau Attendance was 10,040, Gates 2.3 million. Fight of the night was Verdum versus Nelson. Yay! K.O. was Thompson. Yay! Hey! Right. Congratulations. Who's first? Hopefully your mic works. Yep. Kevin Iole, you're right here up front. Right. Is there a mic? Yeah. Hi, Dana. Hey, Hello. Hello. Good night. Uh, do, we, do you agree with the results tonight? Do I agree with what? With the results tonight, Nicky G is in Carlos Conte's fight. Yeah, I do. I, I actually had scored, uh, I had the first two rounds for uh, Diaz in the last three weeks time. And what do you think about the quality of the uh, judges in you know, MMA? I think it's a problem. I think it's, uh, it's rough. Uh, but I'll tell you what, you know, a lot of people were telling me that uh, First of all, I didn't expect the fight to be as technical as it was. I thought these two were going to go in there and go at it. And it was very, uh, you know, Hagler Leonard like this fight. Those types of fights are sometimes hard to score, but that's how I had to score. I had to score. I gave Diaz the first two rounds, and I gave Conor the last three. I'm not a judge, though, so who gives a shit what I think? Do you think maybe the problem is like the guy, you know, is a, uh, is a judge? Do like we it? seriously not have microphones? How is this possible? How is this possible that these microphones are not working? Who has the answer to this question? <laughs> How are we at a press conference right now with no microphones? What's your next question? My question is about like, uh, for example, the guy uh, is a judge. His background is boxing, and he, you know, is a judge in MMA. You know, he have nothing to do with MMA. And you know he coming to you know be a judge in MMA. He's a box. He you just seem pretty pissed, man. Did you think? Uh, they <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he won the first three rounds, and Conor won the last two. Yeah, I think that this is going to be one of those fights that that, that that people are going to score differently. You know, I think because of the style in which Conor fought tonight, not the, the normal style of Conor fights. I think that this is going to be a tough one to score. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. You referenced this a little bit, Dana. You said it wasn't the style of fight that you fought. But did you feel like uh, you know a lot of the fans on the internet are upset? And I know you you don't you don't hate them or anything, but they're, um, that they're upset. They think because Diaz was going forward that he should have won the fight. Uh, and I just wanted to get your take on that. It seemed like Khan did, did you know effective striking even though he was moving. There's no doubt about it. And, and again, this is my opinion, and, and there'll be 50 million other opinions. <clears throat> There's no doubt about it that that, that Nick won. The first two rounds by moving forward and, and uh, you know uh, being the aggressor, he, but the difference is he was being the aggressor and throwing tons of punches that were landing. Um, and, and in the third, in the fourth round, I, I, I'm pretty sure with the fourth, I remember him not really throwing anything, and he looked frustrated to me in the fourth round. Um, and that's that's how I scored the fight. I, I had Diaz. Uh, one of the first two and kind of one of the last three. Yeah, that's how I had it. Um, just curious how disappointing it is to not have that Diaz uh, St. Pierre fight. You've tried to make that now, th you know, three times if he would have won tonight. I mean, it's just that that was a fight that seemed like everybody was desperate for him. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, I, I, you can't get upset about stuff like that. You put two guys in there. There was some talk that maybe, depending on GSP's length of time off, that maybe Carlos would be willing to fight again. Is that something you'd want to risk at all, or you, would you advise them to, you know, let's, let's wait for GSP and see what happens? I don't ever think that anything's risky. I think that if you really believe that you are one of the best in the world, why would you not want to stay active? I like guys staying active and fighting. As far as I know, Carlos came out of this fight with no injuries, and 
you know, went good five rounds, was in great shape. He could defend his uh, his interim title and then fight GSP. Because I don't know how long GSP is going to be out. I assume we'll have Carlos at some point tonight, but obviously it doesn't seem like we're going to get Nick. I know a lot of people want to talk to him. Can you talk about, I guess, was it his decision to not be here and, and if you supported that or, you know, kind of how you feel about yeah, it? Yeah, he didn't want to come. What am I going to do? I mean, you know how the kid feels about press conferences when he's in a great mood. You know what I mean? <laughs> I argue with him when he's in a horrible mood to come over here. You know, I, you have to come. You have to come to, to the pre-fight press conferences. You have to do that. Guys, you know, uh, uh, there's, there's a lot of times when there's guys that don't want to come to the post-fight that I'll say, yeah, okay, I don't know. It happens. So if I could, one for Josh, please. Obviously, uh, a tough fight tonight. Obviously, very closely contested throughout. Um, I, I know you thought you had, you know, quite a bit of an edge on Mike, but uh, can you talk about afterwards? You know, was he a little bit more than, than you expected? Yeah, I kind of knew that coming into this fight, it was going to be a slow pace. You know, kind of he was going to put me up against the cage and kind of try to get out a, a decision. And so, um, you know, I really, to be honest, I didn't really have too much hype to fight him. You know, I just was like, all right, we'll, we'll fight. So, and it, and it showed tonight. But uh, he, he came out and, and fought well. And, uh, you know, I pulled it out, I think, with just the wrestling aspect of it at the end of the rounds there and got the takedowns. So, um you know, it is what it is. You know, I, 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 since the GSP fight, you know, I've only fought, uh, it's been about a year and a half now, I've only fought, you know, a total of four minutes. So I think it was good for me to get in there and, and get a good 15 minutes back in and get my groove going and get my pace. And uh, so I'm looking for uh, the next opportunity to fight again. And just one final one for you, Josh. You, you uh, started to mention the complications in your training camp. Can you talk maybe a little bit about kind of what's going on with that situation, what it means for you going forward, and, and just what the status of all that is right now? Um, I'll be uh, training out of Fresno for now on, so um, I'm no longer affiliated with uh, you know, some of the people at, uh, at the gym that I've been training at. So um, uh, it was a tough camp, you know, knowing that I had this is my last camp there. So uh, I'm going to do my own thing. Uh, first of all, Dana, over here. Dana. Yep. In the middle. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> so. Um, so Diaz and Condit were the focus, the huge focus leading up to this event, but Nelson and Verdum really shined. Can you comment what you thought of each of their performances? Of uh, who's? Of Nelson and Verdum. Yeah, oh yeah, no, Verdum looked awesome tonight. I, I think it's the best I've ever seen him look. Uh, you know, we all know how tough Roy Nelson is. Roy Nelson hits hard too. And uh, Fabricio looked like that clinch looked like the old shoebox clinch. It, it, his stand-up looked fantastic. Uh, he looked very, very good. I don't think Mir has a, a matchup right now. What do you think of Mir and Verdum and possibly for the next contender? I don't know. We'll see. Anything's possible. Hey, guys. Uh, Ron Crunk with Inside MMA. Uh, quick question for Dana. Dana, um, after the fight, Nick Diaz announced that he was retiring. Did you speak to him about that? Is, do you think that's actually going to happen? No, I, I didn't talk to him. Uh, you know, I, th I think Nick is... Uh, you know, Nick's upset. Nick 100% believes he won the fight, and he's upset about it. Um, I think he's, uh, I, you know, I think once he goes home and, and relaxes. Your striking, I thought, was the difference in that fight. Would you talk about that and uh, just the fight in general, please? Yeah, thank you. I've been very happy because I'm training a lot for this fight. I mean, uh, the clean she done is a uh, king's MMA clean Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I like it because I prove my, my stand up too. I'm training every day in Muay Thai. The guy say, Fabrizio, you know, did uh, training Jiu Jitsu, you let me out, but no, I'm training every day. I teach, I teach every day in my gym. I put my, my gi. The gi is very important to put the gi because you know, put the gi is, I don't know, but the, the gi is, you, you put the gi is very technical training. I'm just, uh, I just show for you guys, I'm very happy, I just show for you the happy face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, What's wrong with that guy? Here. What's wrong and, uh, with that guy? Congratulations <laughs> on uh, your win tonight. You beat a guy tonight who was undefeated. He had a tough first round. Um, what do you think, putting together these three amazing wins, three finishes, do you think anything's uh, changed? Uh, since you came back from your injury and your layoff? I think I just matured as an athlete and you know, uh, you don't realize what you have until you almost lose it. You know, being out a couple years with injury, so 
I just, you know, enjoy being here the whole week here. I think the, the nerves are less, and I just, you know, I'm just pumped to be here and fighting again and having a second chance in my career. Question for Dana White. Dana, um, obviously you're going to let Nick Diaz settle down, you know, get over the results in a sense. Will, is it you that will speak to him to bring him back? And uh, do you think Josh Koscheck would be a good opponent for him next when you bring him back? Yeah, I think that would be a great fight. Uh, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if I'm going to want to talk. I don't think it's, it's, it's my, you know, when guys come to me and want to talk to me, I, I, I do. But you know, I think this is his team, his, his guys that he's been with his whole life. You know that, that need to talk to him about this, and, and uh, you know I, I think he's just emotional right now, and I think we'll see him again. Uh, question for Dana. Uh, here, <laughs> Dana, uh, you mentioned in the press conference uh, before the fight. Well, for this fight, and uh, took a lot of knees and, uh, and front kicks as well. Was that part of the game plan going in? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm just uh, keep on the, the smart game. I, I, I want the victory for sure. If this is the plan, the plan game. The, for sure, I'm just it, go the right side and try the right side and kick a lot. I'm just put the knee. This is the I'm just training uh, three months. I like this one. And uh, lastly, about Roy, did you expect him to tire? Was that also part of the game plan? Was to push him to the later rounds? I don't know if you can say, say you, oh, I'm sorry, my voice. Did you expect him to get tired? Is that, was that an expectation of yours? Tired? Tired. Did you expect him to tire? He and me. Him? No. Did you expect him that Roy was going to get tired? Uh, yeah, no, but I don't know. Um, I know so because I just saw the, the strong punch. He, uh, Roy also had a good punch, strong hand. He, I saw the, maybe this the number uh, round number three. I saw he, he tired. With the hand, he grabbed me in the clinch. I don't see a lot of power in tire. I, I saw, but I, I, I like because I'm just, my feeling, when I see he tired, I'm trying to push or, or the kick, I'm trying to knock him for him. Ah, I understand. Yeah, I did a part, of course, but what happened in the fight was what we had programmed to do. Com certeza a gente tinha esse plano também, mas o que a gente fez na luta foi isso. Foi, foi já tá, exatamente como você disse. O que aconteceu no fight foi exatamente o que eu fazer. Eu estava procurando ele tirar, por certeza, mas eu estava mais focado na minha técnica e não no meu game plan. Ok, obrigado. Eu pensava sobre os caras que estão falando muito bem. Obrigado. Uh, one question for Stephen Thompson, please. Stephen, uh, being from South Carolina as well, myself, I know it's not a hot, hot bed for MMA there. Tell me a little bit about about how you feel about fighting on the big show and having. Some oh, it's uh, this is a dream come true, you know. Um, I'm just gonna go back and train harder, and hopefully I'll be able to fight again with uh, with the UFC. So I love it. Dana, a uh, question for you. Uh, if Carlos chooses to fight, who would be in the mix? Do you any idea for who would be uh, if he does go? I haven't even thought about it. And, and what are going to be the factors, uh, you know, in terms of whether you make that decision, whether you wait till he goes off uh, in November? I guess George said yesterday he couldn't train for a fight until at least July. Yeah, no, George, uh, you know, George has been rehabilitating and he's been doing great. He's on track, but he's still far from being ready. He said he hurt his knee tonight when uh, when he won. He said he jumped out of the seat and hurt his knee tonight. Um, so. Choke, Choke out cancer. Choke out cancer. Choke out cancer. Choke out cancer.